everybody. I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and welcome to my channel Backpacking Bananas. It is a very special episode for you today because we are out in Greece from Corfu and for the next week we are going to be sailing over the Ion Ionian Islands with med sailors. And I'm with my friend Karen who is behind the camera and this is our third time sailing with med sailors. The first time was also in Greece but around the Saronic route we departed from Athens. The second time was in Croatia departing from Split and I think both of us can agree it's like one of our favourite weeks of the entire year that we come out and do med sailors and so it is just mega exciting that we are out here again and literally just about one minute ago we set off from Corfu from the Giov Giovanna G G Giovanna what's the name of the um port? the port Guvia. Guvia the Guvia marina we set off from we got Phoebe here who is our lovely skipper I will introduce you to everyone on this boat throughout the week, but this vlog is just going to be our day-to-day -day antics, what we get up to on boat during the week, med sailors. I mean, it's a good time. It's a very good time. I'm very excited. I'm excited to bring you along with me. Expect to see a tour of this whole boat of our beautiful catamaran, where we go each day, what we get up to, days in the life. It's going to be a long vlog. So I recommend you grab yourself either a cold beverage or a hot beverage, whichever one you prefer. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Mediterranean vlog. Hey, I'm Phoebe. I'm the skipper on this boat this week. I've been working for Med Sailors for a year now. I sailed in Greece all of last year and also Croatia. Spent the winter in Antigua and now I'm back in Greece ready for Med Sailors season again. I started life on a farm and I got into sailing only a year ago. I taught myself how to sail and did my yacht master this year and now I'm a skipper for med sailors. So started off as a chef, ended up as a skipper. So we're really close to Albania and we think that over there might be exactly where we were two days ago. Peme Itati, the beach club, so we've got some binoculars on board. I see a big boat. <laughs> I think it is, but it, I'm just trying to make specific things out. That's another. Let's say, let's she's oh. dancing. Hey! hey. hey. You. delicious dinner at San Stefano this was it was organized by the med sailors crew so we all ate at the same restaurant but then we all paid for our own dinner so I think we spent uh, about 30 euros each on a starter a main and almost a liter of alcohol so we've done well and now everyone is going to the wave bar in San Stefano for a few drinks I've also done a bit of shopping already we're doing well, and Karen's got a bounty ice cream. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, first night! I am. Let's put it on. I like it, really I like it, I like it. Very important, you see, very important. Wave. What's this? This is a camera. Kalinisha. Kalinisha, you know. Kalinisha. Yeah, 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 I'm Greek. Yeah. You're not? Yeah. You're not Greek. Kalinisha. You're not Greek for sure. <laughs> My family is from Kios. Okay, and my family is from Madrid. Oh really? Hola! Hola. Hola. Hablas español? No, you don't! You're lying! I'm not lying! You're lying all the No, I'm not! No, I'm not! My family's from Kios. You're not from Kios. Yes, I am. But I cannot speak Greek. How are you? How are you? In Greek? In Greek. Alright, my dad. In Greek, what is it? Picante. Picante. You're not from Greek for sure. Here. 
I bought little cappuccino sachets with me, so they just boiled the kettle and I've made myself coffee. I'm gonna do my sun cream out here. I've already done my face. I just, I can't tell you how good it feels to be back. And I think these morning moments are actually my favorite when the water is so still, you've dived in for your like morning dip. They're making breakfast you're having coffee, the sun is shining and it's not too hot and it's just, it's just bliss really. It, it really is, it really is just bliss. Coffee's a bit hot though. Okay, so it's the afternoon and I was fully intending on giving you a boat tour of our catamaran this afternoon. However, I don't know if you can tell, we're not on a catamaran anymore. <laughs> we ran into a few issues this morning with the engine and because it's a Sunday, it's a bit hard to get it fixed today because a lot of people in Greece are quite religious. They go to church on Sundays, they do not work. So we've got a whole different boat. We're on a, a Bavaria 46 yacht. So what I'm gonna do is there's gonna be two tours in this video. I'm gonna give you a little tour of this yacht that we're on right now for maybe a few days, for maybe the whole thing. And then hopefully when we're back on our catamaran, I'll give you a tour of the catamaran. So here is our lovely boat. On the top here, uh, we are doing a lot of sunbathing. It's very hot. So we need to make sure we keep our sun cream on. Uh, this is my little spot. We've got the paddle board here. We've got Phoebe at the back on the wheel. Hello. The girls are just jamming out. This is an outdoor eating area. Karen's just here, heading down. Okay, our indoor area. Oh goodness. Maybe I could have picked a better time to do this. As you can see, so this is our indoor dining area. It's actually huge. There's a lot of inflatables here right now. Maybe I'll show you again when all these inflatables are gone. We just didn't want them to blow away in the wind. We have a nice big kitchen in here. I really love the stoves on these boats because, I don't know if you can see that, but it moves uh, because it moves with gravity. There's two rooms at the back there. I'll show you into Karen and I's cabin, which looks like this. We've got a nice little double bed. We can stick things here. Uh, we can stick things in here as well. Here's our little wardrobe, if you will. And in here, we actually have our own ensuite bathroom, which is really, really nice. We have a toilet, a sink, some storage, a shower, a big mirror. Hi, that's me. So we have arrived at Iggy Beach, which is where we are going to be spending our second night. Took us longer than everyone else to get here, obviously because of our boat issues, but that's okay. Um, as you can see over here, there's lots of water sports you can do on Iggy Beach. We were gonna do them today, but I think we'll still get the opportunity to do them tomorrow morning. But for right now, we haven't had all that much swimming time today, so that is on the agenda. Oh, this is glorious. Hey. Where'd you find your hat? on the beach. Well, actually, that's my ship there and I've just lived on this island ever since. Ah, yes. So this is our skipper, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Pirate Phoebe. Pirate Phoebe. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. We've got some bread, we've got some feta cheese, we've got what well, looks like a little bit of a spinach and cheese burek. Uh, tzatziki, we have some, what's that called, eggplant, a potato, steak, pasta, tomato salad, and rad. <laughs> I feel like I was the only one who had seconds at the barbecue. They were I mean, huge plates. <laughs> I took some stuff from other people's plates. Oh! I asked first, I asked oh, first. Okay. I didn't like, oh, look at that. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. I did not steal things from other people's plates, but I did go and get seconds at the end, even though it was a huge, I'm full. I am really full. Very yeah, full. But it was nice. And there was some watermelon as well. Yeah. Dessert. A free wine. And they also gave us a free orzo. Is it also ouzo? Or is also is a type of pasta, right? Ouzo, <laughs> which is a Sambuca, Greek, kinda. yeah, it's like a Greek liquor. Um, and now we're all just hanging out by the bonfire, having a little bit of a bonding session. It's really nice to get to know the other boats actually, because obviously in the day, like you only really spend time with your own boat. Whereas when they plan these organised little events in the evening, you can get to know the other boats. Um, and yeah, it's really really nice. <laughs> I kind of want to 
dive into it. <laughs> right? Should I do it? Where are you, fishy? which is where we are going to be staying for the night. Karen and I actually just dropped off our laundry because we heard about this Giros man who also has a washing machine and literally just does your laundry while you eat Giros. So we made the most of that. Well, and that's the best of both worlds. It is, it is the best of both worlds. <laughs> and it was actually delicious. I'll show you here what our Giros looked like. It was amazing. And then we hung up our washing on the boat on the on the side of the boat we did have to buy some pegs because they don't really have very many pegs on the boat and we were worried that our things would fly off so we spent like one euro fifty or something on uh, pegs which i think is a good investment so that we don't lose our underwear <laughs> that would be terrible yeah phoebe made us some great pancakes this morning and now we have sailed away from plataria to a nice little swim spot gorgeous little bay which apparently is quite secret there's only med sailors boats here um i was feeling a little bit seasick on the boat on the way over so i spent a bit of time inside that was a mistake but hopefully this water will make me feel a lot better oh, <laughs> Yeah. How was that? I don't know. How was that? Oh uh, yeah, that was alright. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. She went. Oh, oh, oh. oh it went so well. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Sorry. Okay, so today there was wine tasting on offer for 25 euros per person, but so we've heard it was a very long tour, very informative, like you've really, really, really got to be into your wines on a serious level to enjoy it. We weren't quite after that vibe, so we've decided to do our own wine tasting where each duo uh, is buying or uh, supplying uh, their own wine for everyone to taste and their own appetizer. And so starting off, we've got Pat and Jess with their beautiful champagne. Thank you so much for starting us off with this. Yummy! What you might taste in the tasting notes are some spring flowers. Ooh. And a fleshy red fruit. Ooh. So, are you ready for the pop? Yes! yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Woo! It's just flavor. how I like my wine with cork in it. With cork. Oh, cork. It brings some of that oaky flavor mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Here is our water taxi, which is going to take us to the town of Parga. Thank you. Hello. Look at these two with their hats. Cuties. Welcome to Parker, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got here around six o'clock, which means we have about three hours until the sun goes down. So we're just going to wander around, have some wine, and then have dinner a little bit later, and then. The most important thing is we have to make sure that we grab that water taxi back before 12.30 because that's the last one and if we miss it we're swimming back to the boat. I mean I think it sounds like a good time but um, it's not recommended. I feel like I'm going to want to do some shopping here Karen. Oh and these oh so nice. Oops. So we've come to a place called Aegis for dinner, which was not only recommended by med sailors, but also by my mum, who has been to Parga before. I said, mum, do you have any recommendations in Parga? And she goes, oh, my favorite place to go for dinner was Aegis Restaurant. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's on the waterfront. And uh, yeah, it's stunning. I think this is a complimentary starter. It's like a, a smoked salmon biscuit of some description. Is that what he was talking about, salmon? Oh, we had to get a burrata. We got the feta with the crusty phyllo pastry and some beef of some description. Beef tatar. Beef tatar. Beef tatar. So, we've had a very rocky start to the day because we tried um, going around to Antipaxos, which is one of the little islands, but it was just too wavy. And so we headed straight round to a little cove around the corner of Paxos, actually around the corner from where we are staying tonight in a little town called Laka. And we've just pulled up at Laka now, and it's absolutely stunning. The water is like turquoise blue. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's absolutely glorious. Um, and I'm gonna do my first dive of the day, which is gonna be, I feel like I need to be a bit more creative with these dives but I'm gonna go for a back dive and hoping that my bikini doesn't fall off because it's definitely my most flimsy of all my bikinis. Teamwork. Okay, I go. So the wine tasting continues today. Um, first up, we have Mariah and Catherine with their dry white, which has already been served. Afraristo! <laughs> Yamas! Next up, we've got our, <laughs> our wine. Mind Muscat. Yes. As well as that, and it's from the protective designation of origin Samos it's from Samos yes and that we have had to put ice in our cups for this because Karen and I bought it the other day it was very very nice with with ice and so that's why we have decided to present it to the group as our contender for the best wine in the wine <laughs> competition where are we Karen we are in the town of Laka Laka it's like liquor. It's a bit like liquor, liquor ding, but lacquer, lacquer ding. Yeah, that gorgeous blue water we were in earlier was just in the bay around lacquer, and we were just waiting for the day boat to leave, and then we could plug into the port, and this is where we will be for the night. So for the afternoon slash evening, this is where we are. We can explore the town. Oh, this shop looks absolutely gorgeous. Might have to do a little bit of shopping. I love when we arrive on the new towns. It's so nice. We've just packed ourselves like little day bags because um, we've been told there's a few nice beaches which we can walk to. We've been walking for 17 years down dusty roads, up hills. And the only thing keeping us going is our chant. Skinny, skinny legs, skinny, skinny toned brown legs. <laughs> and that keeps us going. 
It really looks like we're going to nowhere though, doesn't it? Well, it's a secret beach. It's a secret beach. So, This was you a know. recommendation from Med Sailors. They said it's a 20 minute walk to the secret beach. Would you look at that? Now this, this is a secret beach. No one else is here. We thought that some of the other med sailors people might be here, didn't we? Oh, I can't wait for a dip. Now we've been on that 20 minute walk. I'm a bit sweaty. Took us 28 minutes actually, not 20 minutes. 1.78 kilometers, six meters of elevation. I don't believe it for a second. My guess would be that that was at least, at least 50 meters of elevation. Mm, maybe not, maybe, maybe 40. <laughs> the best of the best. <laughs> Ready? Yes! Let's do it! Let's do it! So we start now to explain from the barbecue first of all. We have the selections of six different meat. We have the veal steak, the pork chops, the lamb chops, pork souvlaki, chicken souvlaki and pork sausages. Now you decide whatever you like, if you like something like that. There in the corner we have the roast potatoes, of course, to serve with something or just a plate with roast potatoes here, but it's important. Okay. On the top of that for roast potatoes we have the fresh mushroom all in the slices with the red and green sweet peppers and garlic sauce so slow cook in the oven. These are normally would use like a starter or side dish, but absolutely whatever you like. Okay. So on the top of the garlic mushrooms we have the stuffed lemons. The lemons, oh. they are our recipe 100% and they are oh. stuffed with feta cheese, ham and many different kinds. Oh of the vegetables and the, the gas cheese sauce and smoked paprika as well it's something very tasty this is the aubergine's imam in the corner so funny story the power has gone out in the whole town but our food has arrived first we have the aubergine saganaki saganaki it's spicy aubergine with like oh. cheese and everything so it looks really good yes I mean, look at that I'm excited for this. I am a bit bread excited for this. Okay, Almost the power's done. back. I haven't been recording it entirely oh on video. God, I'm gonna with you. I didn't see yeah. <laughs> So all of our food's arrived now. Um, and we've already eaten, eaten most of it. This was the feta <laughs> with um, pastry. We Honey. we also got like this beef burger with like creamy sauce and potatoes. Is there anything else that we've eaten that I those stuffed lemons that you were? Oh yes, the stuffed lemons and like it was very lemony on the outside. I mean, you can imagine eating a lemon skin is very lemony, but the inside oh was delicious. about our boat being like docked up in an actual town in an actual like little marina is that you can actually get off and explore the town a little bit in the morning as well which means you can get a nice coffee it's a good day to have a good day though this and this this does not go at all i wasn't i wasn't thinking when i woke up For the famous paddle board race. Who's okay. gonna win? Woo! Yeah! 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 There we go. Yeah, get it ready. Yeah, my goggles are here, so I'm gonna be on the back um, paddling, pushing. There's gonna be three on the paddle board. So, as you can see, it's going really well. Breathe! 
are now in our final town. Final town of the whole stop because it's our last night. This town is called Gaios and it is the largest town on the island of Paxos. So we've just done a little bit of work in a cafe and then we have a few hours before there's a big group dinner tonight. So we're gonna head to a little local beach. Yes. Have the a bit beach of a swim. that is closest by. Our boatmates will be waiting for us there. So we ah, can them. oh lovely. Hi. So we're just gonna go to the beach for a bit and then we'll head back to the boat shower before our group dinner and uh, explore Gaios a bit. Okay, I'm, I've decided not to get my hair wet as well for the first time. That's only because I feel like my hair actually looks kind of all right and I don't want to ruin it. Especially because we're, go we're going on a big night. I know this is just keeping it out of the water. It shouldn't, shouldn't ruin the style, we hope. Mm. Oh, this water though, so nice. <laughs> Isn't this just lovely? <laughs> absolutely like <laughs> I needed that cool down really. yeah 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 I think we both did after the wine and work <laughs> wine and work. a cool down is exactly what you need oh well this is cute hi everyone I've got makeup on I just dropped my camera no I didn't my camera case it's all good looking real fancy tonight real fancy I've gone not very conservative on the top but conservative on the bottom some nice long shorts. Really, really nice. Getting to know you all and just chatting and doing all this. So, to our crew. To our crew. Yamas. 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 It's been a pleasure. Thank you. He's well posh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at that tzatziki. Get in there. Wow. Penne salmon. You got some beef. Yeah, so. Look at that. Jess has the almighty pasta of all pastas. Karen has a moussaka. Yo! Got to go with the moussaka, right? Yes. <laughs> Ah, oh, floaties out for the last day. Get your floaties out. Get your floaties out. This is what I'm looking for. Yes, lads. I haven't actually used it yet. Paid two euros for this. Go on, Karen. Last dive. Last dive. Woo! Woo! So I got a beer to put in here. So because I'm using my little pineapple drink holder, I'm also going to take the pineapple floaties. So I'm going to dive in. <laughs> she made it! Hey! <laughs> so, I guess I gotta drink some. What are you having? Beer? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Two euros worth it! <laughs> Last breakfast brunch on the boat. Zucchini fritters! Lovely, yes, of course you can. And so ends the most wonderful time of the year. It's sad. It's always sad when these weeks end with Ned Sailors. Like we always have such a good time. Um, and it was so lovely to explore another part of Greece that we've never been to. And I think both Karen and I can agree that Greece is absolutely our favorite holiday destination in Europe. And it's all thanks to Med Sailors because that's where it all started. My highlight of the week, a specific highlight of the week, was when we went to Secret Beach on Laka and discovering Secret Beach. I love that so much. And then I think a general highlight for the week would be just waking up in the beautiful blue ocean. You could just dive in, Phoebe making us breakfast and just general life on the boat. Yeah, what was your highlight, Karen? Oh, good question. Yeah, I would say like the people that were on our boat 
and just general good time that we had, all the good food. So food. much good food, oh my goodness. I have gone away heavier than I arrived, <laughs> but I'm not mad. I'm full of feta and I'm full of wine. You may be able to tell we're back in Corfu, Old Town now. And we're actually gonna be sticking around Corfu for the next few days because on the tour, we actually didn't see much of Corfu Island, which we'd really like to see. So um, in the next video, you'll see us exploring around the town, hopefully we don't get injured on the scooter that we're planning on renting. But thanks again to Med Sailors for having us on this trip. We've had the best time once again. Would highly recommend a Med Sailors holiday to anyone wanting to explore the Mediterranean, explore Europe in a different way and be on a boat. And to be honest, it's the best way. It really is the best way. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video as well. And I will see you, Karen and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>